Hello, hello, and welcome to a big 50 cent hunt of 20 rolls. The hunt where I usually have the most luck, at least with the last ones I had quite some luck. So I have to say also this time I almost expect at least one microstate coin and maybe even a German NIFC again. So yeah, I hope that is the case, otherwise I would almost be disappointed and I hope that the microstate coin is not just a Vatican coin, but maybe even San Marino or Andorra, as I had in one of the last big 50 cent hands. And of course, the most amazing thing would be a Monaco 50 cent. But let's see. Let's get started. I do not want to raise the expectations too high, because we never know. It can also be that there is nothing. So let's get started. Open the first roll. The first coin of this hunt, Germany 2002. Austria 2018. Spain 2001. And Spain 2020. This one I will actually put aside. I mean, I'm pretty sure that I have it at this point, but maybe someone else needs it still. Italy 2002. Greece 2002. Netherlands 2002 France 2001 Last coin for the first roll, Austria 2018. Nothing really yet, but that was just the first roll, so let's continue right away. We continue with Italy 2002. Really destroyed Spanish coin. Nice, Netherlands 2003. I think that's kind of a rare one. Yeah, it should be like a 1 million vintage coin or so. I mean, I have it, but yeah. <laughs> the first pretty cool find. And that's just in the second roll. Belgium 2002. And the first coin from Portugal, also 2002. Last coin, quite destroyed French coin from 2002. Third roll of 20. Starts with Spain 2000. Slovakia, 2009. 
And Netherlands 2014 shouldn't be too rare. I think like four or five million, but yeah, I will still leave it aside for now. And the last coin, another German. We continue. And start this roll with Belgium 2015, which I'll put to the side straight away as well. Portugal 2006, if I see it correctly. Yeah, that could be a rare one actually. If it is, you will see it as usual in the info. And I will definitely put it to the side and check it at the end. The first Slovenian coin from 2007. And the first Croatian coin, 2023. Last coin, Austria 2009. Next roll. I think now it would slowly be time to find the first microstate, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, German 2023F. Still find those very rarely here in Austria, 2022 and 2023, and I'm still missing a few. Although I think the F I found during the Frankfurt meetup in a vending machine. But yeah, I will still check. And I hope I will find some more, especially the 2022s, they are a bit more rare. And Cyprus, 2008. Finland, 2000. Another Croatian. Last coin for this roll, another German. Is this going to be the first roll with a microstate? Let's see. We start with Germany. Italy 2021. I'll still put to the side, even though I think I have pretty much all of them, except maybe 2023. Nice, there we go. 2022 German with mint mark D. But I think that's pretty much the only one that I found. Anyways, I will check at the end. But it's good to see that the 2022 and 2023 German ones are finally appearing in rolls here. I think so far I didn't find any in a roll. Then we have Ireland 2002. The last coin for this roll, another Cyprus, nice, but also 2008. Next roll. Starts with Belgium. Italy 2020, I'll also leave aside.
Frost 2020. I'll also check, even though I most likely have it. And the first Luxembourg coin from 2004. Belgium 2014, I'll also leave aside. And the last coin for this roll, Ireland 2004, which I will also check. Next roll and hopefully something great now. We start with Italy. France 2019. I'll also leave aside. Belgium 2008, you know how it is for me with Belgian coins, if I'm not 100% sure, they go to the side. And last coin, France 2001. We move on. And I think now it's really about time for a microstate or an IFC. We are almost halfway through with this hand. And I think we only found like one or two rare coins, which is already nice, but not for a 50 cent hunt. There is way more possible. <laughs> ah, nice. Slovenia 2021. I think it's not fully a rare one. It was like 3 million or something. But yeah, I will still put it aside, even though I have it. Portugal 2003, I think it's not rare, but I will still check. Greece 2009, should also be a common one, it goes to the side still. Last coin, another German. Tenth roll, so almost halfway through and still nothing too special. So I hope I didn't set the expectations too high. But as I know the 50 cents, there should still be quite a bit more possible. Nice, there we go. <laughs> Vatican 2015. Definitely not a new one because I have all from 2010 until 2022. But yeah, still nice to come across and at least the first micro state. Last coin, shiny Austrian 2022.
So yeah, it took us 10 rolls to find the first Vatican, but I would actually say that's pretty much the average it takes here. On average, in every 10th roll, you will find the Vatican here, I would say. So actually still nothing out of the ordinary, but at least the minimum expectations are filled now. So now I can go with more ease into the next 10 rolls. Hopefully with one or two crazy finds, then this will also be an amazing hunt. Belgium 2009, I will check. Although I'm pretty sure that 2010 is the NIFC, which I actually found once in one of these 50 cent hunts. I think it was last year, so be sure to check that out. We finish this roll with Germany 2002. Let's continue. And I would also say that on average with the 50 cents, every 15th to 20th roll brings a German NIFC. So we are still missing that. And I hope for that as well. <laughs> if we won't find one, I think it would almost be out of the average here. Nice, another 2023 mint mark A. This could be a new one. I'll definitely check. Portugal 2017. I think it's common, but just to be sure. Greece 2020, I'll also check. And we finish with Germany. Next roll. Start with Germany. And last coin, Austria 2005. Next roll. Starts with Austria 2002. Germany 2002, last coin of this roll. And next one, hopefully, with a German NIFC. Still hoping for one, or at least another microstate. San Marino would be really cool to finally find again. Especially with the new design, I think I don't have a 50 cent yet, so that would be amazing. Greece 2010. I will check. That could be a rare one, but I'm not sure. Greece 2010. 
Italy 2016 could be a bit more rare. I'll put to the side. And we finish again with a German coin. Next roll. Really destroyed Italian coin. Pretty good quality French twenty twenty one. And we finish this one with Spain 2000. Okay, compared to most of my last 50 cent hunts, this starts to become actually kind of a boring one. I mean, it's not like we found nothing, but just the bare minimum of what a normal or a good 50 cent hunt should bring. Belgium 2012, I'll also check. And we finish with Italy. The last three rolls. Let's go. Wish me luck once more. Luxembourg, 2013. I'll also check. Belgium, 2011. Same here. And Italy 2018, I think that's the only one that I consider as rare with my criteria of under 2 million. I think this has pretty much exactly a mintage of 2 million. Yeah, quite nice. Not new, but I'll still put it to the side. And Malta, the first one from 2008. Last coin, Italy 2020. And we come to the penultimate roll. Can these last rolls bring the hand still out of the average, make it a good one or even an insane one? The insane part I doubt, but I still believe that they can make it a good hand. I mean, also now it's okay, but nothing too special, especially for 50 cents. And I'm not even sure if there's anything new yet, except maybe with the German 2022-2023s. Last coin, Italy. Final roll. The last chance for something amazing. Let's hope.
Nice, another German 2023, but again, F mint mark. Might be a quality upgrader though. Last coin for this, I have to say, pretty average 50 cent hunt is a French one from 2002. Okay, and there we go. A few different countries, but we didn't even find any of the Baltic coins, which is a bit unusual. I mean, they are kind of rare to find here, but in 20 rolls, I expected at least one from Latvia or Lithuania. Estonia is usually a bit more rare to find. There should be a few rare coins, there is one Vatican coin and hopefully one new coin with the German ones. So I will check now and get back to you. We come to the end results and I have to say the hunt was actually, for me at least, a little bit better than I thought. Still kind of average for a 50 cent hunt, but I guess I had worse at some point. <laughs> Although the most of the recent ones were pretty crazy, so that's why I was a bit spoiled with those hunts and maybe had a bit too high expectations. But as you will see now, there was a little surprise, so it was actually pretty good. First we have a few quality upgrades, German one from 2022 with the mid mark D. Then also the 2023 F is actually in better quality. And a few rare coins, 2018 Italy, around 2 million mintage. Netherlands, 2003, it's pretty nice actually, 1.2 million mintage. And the Vatican, 2015. Fulfilled at least the minimum for a microstate in 20 rolls. But yeah, I have two pieces of this one, as with pretty much all circulated Vatican 50 cents. And then there are two new coins, which I'm really happy about. One is the German 2023A. This I kind of hoped for and thought that it could be a new one. But the surprise was this Portuguese 2006. I mean, I was pretty sure it's a rare one, and it is, with 1 million mintage, but I thought I had all of them, and it turns out I didn't. This one is the last one missing. I didn't even find it in Portugal, although I was there for more than two months in the last years. So, yeah, pretty cool. Nice new addition to my collection. A nice rare coin. Yeah, nothing really that I expected, but quite happy with it and at least a little surprise, even though there was no NIC or no San Marino, but you can't expect those crazy finds in every hunt. And I mean, as you know by now, most of the hunts are pretty average or even boring, and just every now and then crazy finds appear, and only with the 50 cents. It almost felt a bit rigged in the last <laughs> one or two years, with almost every hunt being quite a crazy one. So I guess it was also good that this one didn't turn out too crazy so that you can actually see the reality of most coin hunts. Anyways, still happy with new finds as always and thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe and comment and see you on my next video.